Welcome. Today is Thursday in the 27th week of Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Bill. Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. We take a moment and we ask the Lord for continued forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Now may God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O oh, stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Does then the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you do so from the works of the law or from faith in what you heard? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the Lord, Lord, the God, the God of, of Israel. Israel. He has, has come, come to, to his, his people. people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord the God, God of Israel. Israel. He has, he has come, come to, to his, his people. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord the, the God, God of Israel. Israel. He, he has, has come, come to, to his, his people. people. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the Lord. Lord the God, the God of, of Israel. Israel. He has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, the, Lord, the God, God of Israel. Israel. He has come to his people.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, If he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. We are all familiar with this reading, and every time I hear it, especially the part where it says, because of his persistence, persistence in prayer always reminds me of St. Monica. St. Monica was so persistent in prayer, she kept praying for her son Augustine, and we know what happened, that she prayed so long and so hard that the Lord answered her prayers, and St. Augustine became a great Father, doctor of the church, or father of the church, and a great theologian. I've always believed, since reading the life of St. Monica, that God hears the prayers of mothers. Mothers' prayers are so persistent, whether it's for their children or even for their spouses, that mothers and wives continually pray and they have the ear of God. But in today's gospel from Luke, we hear that we are to be persistent in our prayer to continue to ask him, and it says in the second part of the gospel, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. And it's not just one asking, one time you receive, or so on and so forth. It's every single day. It's not something that we can do today, which will continue tomorrow and the next day and the next. Each day we are to make it a concerted effort to dialogue, if you will, with God the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And in that dialogue, we can ask for the things that we need. And it's really interesting because we will ask for things, but God knows what we need before we even ask. So some will say, well, why should I even ask? God knows what I need. Well, he wants us to have that intimate relationship with him, to go back and forth. It's just like parents. We know what our children need, but they still ask us. But many times they're confused between what they want and what they need. And maybe that is the lesson today. We are to pray for the things that we need. And in dialoguing and building our relationship with God, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, we will understand what we truly need, which is different than what we want. We gather together our prayers for the church, the vineyard of the Lord, 
that God may inspire us to be a catalyst for greater justice and compassion in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our church leaders, that the Holy Spirit may give them the grace to be good stewards of the vineyard the Lord has entrusted to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a greater respect for the dignity and sacredness of all human life, from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the victims of wildfires, hurricanes, earthquakes, and all other natural disasters, that they may experience the Lord's compassion through those who share their time and resources to help them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all first responders, medical professionals, and law enforcement personnel, that the Lord may watch over them and protect them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who, who suffer persecution, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Tammy Wilson, Joanne Schlemmer, Joanne Porter, Gabby Short, Alice Dernan Cassidy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Christine Bowling, Ivan Gilbert, Father Joe Mullen, S.J., Charlie Bakakalupi, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold confidently in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear all of our prayers and grant these good things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept this sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and the good, good of all of his holy, holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the, the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. And we do this through Christ. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save us Savior, Savior of, of the world. world. For, For by your cross and resurrection, you, you have, have set, set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And And lead us not not into temptation, temptation, but but deliver deliver us from from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power, and the the glory glory are yours, yours, now now and and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your (laughs) apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And and with with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take take away away the the sins sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. us. Lamb Lamb of God, God, you take take away the sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb Lamb of God, God, you take take away away the sins of the world. world. Grant Grant us us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy worthy that you should should enter under under my roof, roof, but but only say the word, and and my soul soul shall be healed. Amen. The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished 
by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. May God continue to bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God.